Sorry, guys. What was your message to the team during that final timeout before those last four minutes? Oh, it, it's uh, you know, we, you know, we screwed totally screwed the game up. They go from, I think, going a ten-all run in like forty-five seconds or something. We totally screwed the game up, and and uh, you know, put the, put them in position where they definitely could make us sweat uh, with the four-minute deal. But you know, just to try to emphasize. Playing our best and, and, and being more focused and and, and you know guard your man uh, 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 maybe a little differently uh, uh, than what we had in the prior ten minutes or whatever. So we actually played well, really well the last four minutes. I mean, got to stop every time, and got some steals, and executed in transition and, and executed in the half court. So you know, even though we didn't play very well, and I thought I thought UKC did or, or Kansas City did. Uh, uh, but we, we did play well down the stretch. Without taking anything away from Kansas City, are games like this between UConn and Mizzou it's like a mental test almost as much as a, a physical test for your guys? Oh, yeah, well, uh, yeah, I, th I think, you know, was our energy level the same as it was against Connecticut? No. Was the fans' energy level the same as it was against Connecticut? No. Uh, 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 I thought, you know, it mirrored last Tuesday's game a lot. Um, and I think that, you know, no, with, with all, you know, just calling it like it is, uh, uh, that's a tired team out there playing. There's four guys playing 37 minutes a game or 35 minutes a game. Uh, uh, we, we haven't developed, uh, you know, uh, uh, five through eight or five through nine to the point where, you know, the, the starters got us off to a great start. I mean, we had 22 points uh, 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 eight minutes into the game today, and, and, and but you got to sub, and, and uh, we just lose momentum when we go to the bench right now. So there's some things that we can certainly tighten up, but we did some things in that 10-0 run. I mean, I, I can't remember ever throwing the ball in bounds and then walking out of bounds to throw it in again. I mean, that, that you know, and, and it may have kind of happened weird. I don't, I don't know, I haven't seen it yet, but, but uh, you know, if we say that it, it was, it's kind of a trap game, which is what a term others have used, then that's not giving Kansas City the credit they deserve because I thought they played really well. Uh, and, and, and they got a couple of guys that can flat out shoot. I, number 30 shoots as good as anybody that will shoot it, that, that will play all year long. And, he, and, and he's why, his, you know, we told our guys, him at 30 feet is the exact same shot of him shooting at 20. It makes no difference. Uh, 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 he's, he's got such great range. And, and 13 had such a fabulous game uh, uh, and got the best of us. But, but uh, you know, it's, it, it, we, we executed when we needed to and did the things we needed to do to, to win and, and, and pull ahead at the end. So there were some positive takeaways from it. But we got to be ahead of a lot better than we were tonight. You guys obviously, as a coaching staff, share a lot of lessons and, and teach guys things and stuff like that. How important is it for the other players, your veterans, to, to teach some of those young guys, whether it's out there tonight or in practice or whatever, just to have that voice help help some of the younger guys hear yeah, it a little different? Yeah, I think I think it's it's obviously uh, very important. They've had some experiences that, I mean, Juan and Hunter and, and Kevin and and KJ the least, but still yet with what he's with what he's done since he's been here. I mean, they, that's some of the most experienced, well-seasoned players in America. So they need to be leaders to those other guys. And I actually think they're doing a, 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 a fairly decent job with it. I, I, I just, uh, uh, we just, uh, you know, to me, Johnny looked like a player the second half. Uh, uh, and we haven't been consistent where, 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 where we, you know, look that way. like. Like uh, uh, when you sub, the ball doesn't move as well, or a guy doesn't remember a play, or, or there's a lot of things going on that I think we can be a lot better at uh, with time. So I, I still think by the time we start league play, these guys will look totally different than they look now. Bill, you talked about last time uh, how Kevin's kind of had a 
great start to the season, comes out with a career high 25 points uh, today. Can you talk about how much of a leap he's taken all around compared to last year? I don't know that he's a lot better player all around than last year. I think he's a lot better offensive player. I mean, to me, defensively, yeah. he's always been terrific. <laughs> and rebounding, he's always been terrific. And he's the best loose ball guy that maybe I've ever coached. Uh, 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 but he is he has taken a step very similar to Ochai's step and to Jay Will's step. You know, those guys were, were obviously not predicted to be All-Americans or whatever, and then by Christmas they're a favorite to be an All-American. <clears throat> he hasn't quite gotten there yet, but the way he's playing right now, he's not far off. Do you see the confidence in him just kind of different than last year? You talked about how much more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think offensively he's a different player and, and, and confident. And he's scoring different ways. You know, he's scoring in the post a lot. He's scoring different ways where it doesn't just rely on perimeter shots. But, you know, he's shooting the ball at a – had a pretty good clip. I, I think tonight, what was he, uh, two of two, you know, and so he can shoot more, but but shot selection's good. He didn't force anything. Uh, uh, you know, I, 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 of course, I'm sold. I think he's a terrific player. Could you comment on KJ's line, especially? I would assume he's really tired about what he's been through the last couple of weeks. I would think so. Uh, 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 we talked a lot about it. He says he hadn't slept. So maybe he can, you know, finally sleep some now and and, and stuff. But uh, you know, Kevin was great, but there's no doubt KJ is the best player in the game for us. Uh, 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 you know, his line is ridiculous, and that's being scoreless with two minutes left in the first half, if I'm not mistaken. So so, uh, uh, but he played to his strengths. You know, he was physical. He played to his athletic ability, and the thing that he did do to today. Uh, he was without question our best player in transition, you know, hands down, as far as bringing it and making plays for others. And, and uh, I thought he did a great job there. And that pass that he made to Johnny late, that's pretty good for a five man last year making that play late in transition. Did you say to anything to him at halftime? I know points aren't everything, but he scored a ton in the second half. Uh, I don't know. I didn't say anything to him about scoring. Uh, 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 I don't think I said anything to him in any way, shape, or form uh, 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 at halftime as far as we need you to do this, this, or this. I, I don't get hung up on him when he doesn't score. The, the way that they played Hunter tonight, he needed to score because they, they obviously just put a guy behind him and, 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 and pushed him out, which is, you know, a good strategy. Uh, uh, but he did stay connected with Hunter, so that kind of opened up KJ more. Anything else? Thanks, Coach. All right, guys. Thanks.